take one more example and uh, we'll try to understand the same how we plot a pedigree and then we'll try the same pedigree to interpret the genotypes. So let us write down the question here. And the question here which we are taking is about sex-linked inheritance. A woman whose father and here as we said we are talking of uh, a sex limb disorder so we will talk of hemophilia. So a woman whose father was hemophilic marries a normal man and they have three children. They have three children that is two daughters and a son. The question is plot the pedigree and find the genotypes and here we are talking of probable genotypes. Probable genotypes of all. All includes the parents as well as the offsprings. So our starting point is this woman. So we are starting with this woman and the information is about her father. That means this woman who is a child of this couple. So this person, this man becomes the father of this woman. And the information is given about this man. That he is hemophilic. Hemophilia is X-linked recessive disorder. And normally, when we write X-linked disorder as hemophilia, we put this H on X. And this is a recessive gene. We know that females have two X chromosomes and males have X and Y. So if, as this is a recessive disorder, the female can have these two possible combinations. She can have one recessive and the other X is going to have the dominant gene. And the other situation is when she has two recessive genes, which is again a rare uh, occurrence. So in this case, the female is going to be a carrier when she has one recessive and one dominant. So the female here is carrier and in this case, the female is going to be diseased. Let us talk about the situation with males. The male is going to have X, this recessive gene and Y and the other is this normal situation. And as Y chromosome is not having any dominant gene against this recessive one, so even this single recessive gene will be able to express itself. So this man would have the disease. And that is why in sex linked disorders, males are more affected, females are either carriers because they have two X chromosomes. Okay, coming back to this question. The woman whose father was hemophilic. So father's genotype is XH and Y. And because he has only one recessive gene that is on X, no dominant on Y, so even on presence of this single recessive gene, he is showing the disease. From the father or from the male, it is X which is given to the daughter and Y is given to the son. So the daughter has received this X from the father. So our first line says a woman whose father was hemophilic. This is an indication that she has received this disease containing uh, X or recessive gene containing X from her father. And 
she marries a normal man. Normal man would have X, Y. As nothing is mentioned from the female, a mother, and nothing is mentioned about the disease that she has, that means we would take the other X as normal. This indicates that she is a carrier. The next is that they have two daughters and a son. Now this couple has two daughters and a son. We have plotted the pedigree. Now we need to find out the genotypes of the offspr offspring or everybody. This female, the starting point, that is our proband. This has received one recessive gene containing X from the father and one normal X from her mother. So what could be the genotype of the mo her mother? She could be a carrier. In this case, she has given the normal dominant containing X to her daughter or she could be normal completely. That means both the X's having the dominant gene. So here there are both the probabilities or possibilities. Now let us come to these offsprings. What is the son going to receive? The son is going to receive Y from the father, that is this Y, and can receive X, normal dominant gene containing X from the mother, or the recessive gene from the mother. There are two situations. So here, the son could be absolutely normal or could be disease. So here possibility is normal as well as disease, 50-50 chances. Let us talk about the girls. What is the girl going to receive from the father? She is going to get X because from the father, X comes to the daughters and Y goes to the son. So these two girls have received X from their father. Now there are chances that they can get the normal dominant gene containing X from the mother or they may have the recessive gene containing uh, X from the mother and normal from the father. In this situation, the girl is going to be normal and in this situation, the girl is going to be a carrier. Here also, same two possibilities. She can get a normal X from the mother or the recessive gene containing X from the mother. Again, chances are that 50% she could be normal or 50% she could be diseased. So here we are talking of the probabilities. Looking at the question, we plotted the pedigree and by using the genotype of uh, whatever information we had, we have interpreted the genotype of all. The mother of this female from where our pedigree started and the offsprings also. Now here we have done everything and we have seen all probabilities. But when the question is asked in exam and if it is like a multiple choice question, they would give us some choices. And the choices would be like that the daughters could be 100% normal, 100% sorry I have written disease here, it should have been carrier. So 100% normal, 100% carriers, 100% disease. So girls are never going to be diseased if the father is normal because they are definitely going to get one dominant gene containing X from the father. So the chances are only two. Either they can be carriers if they are getting the recessive gene from the mother or they are going to be normal if they get the normal gene from the mother. So here we will have to pick the correct option and if the question says what percentage of the daughters are going to be diseased? Our answer is going to be zero. For daughters to be diseased, father has to be diseased. Then only that recessive gene containing X will come from the father and the mother could be carrier or diseased. So looking at the pedigree, then we'll have to choose the options. So we have done two pedigrees. One was about skin color inheritance, which is an autosomal disorder and hemophilia, which is a sex link disorder. Now in the next segment, what we will be doing is, we'll try to understand that if pedigrees are given, how can we identify whether it is a dominant or a recessive gene pedigree or inheritance?